What is going on? Good evening, good evening, good evening, my fellow MRMIs. Um, if this is your first time visiting the channel, let me say welcome. I'm Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, and I will be your host. No. Um, if this is your first time visiting, do me a favor. Don't subscribe to my channel yet. Check out some of my other material. Check out some of my other stuff in my playlist. Check out my comedy section and all that good stuff like that. Do that for me before subscribing so you know what I'm about and you know you're going to like me. You're not just liking me because I did a favorite song of yours, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right on to it. Uh, I got a request from uh, James Falco, and he wants me to do a song by Bobby Caldwell. It's called What You Won't Do For Love. I was asked do if I know who Bobby Caldwell is. I have no idea who Bobby Caldwell is. And they say, have I ever heard a song, not James and asses, but the different folks asked, have I ever heard a song called What You Won't Do For Love? I said, I heard a lot of songs about love. I can't necessarily say I've heard it before or whatever like that, but I don't know who Bobby Caldwell is. So, uh, James Falco, I'm getting ready to get right on into this, sir. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice little addition to all the songs that's been playing before because they people have been killing it. So, if this kind of falls off, then you kill the move for people. But then at the same time, I can edit it and play the song that's not so huh, huh, first and then play all the other good songs at the end. Yeah, I have that power. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get right on to it. So James Falco, let's see what this is about. Bobby Caldwell, What You Won't Do For Love. I guess you wonder where I've been I search to find the love within Brighten the light. This is right there. My friends wonder what is wrong with me. Y'all. <laughs> I'm in the days from your love to see. Hey, come on. I came back to let you know. Y'all already know what I'm going to say to MRMI. I got a thing for you. It's a white man. James Falco, I think you know. I think you knew what you was doing when you did that. That was one of them moves with uh, un, what they wrote their name, uh, the Righteous Brothers. That was one of those type of moves right there. I'm just, 
<laughs> and for my subscribers, listen to me when I say this. When I do my thing, y'all hear me say, you know, that's a white dude. I'm not a, I'm, I'm, oh my gosh. When I say he sounds black, all I'm saying is this. If I grew up only listening to black artists sing music like this, if I have heard this song without seeing this dude's face, I would have assumed that he was black. All the music that I listened to growing up, R&B, the blues, the jazz, the love songs, whatever, all of them that was listened to, they were black. The rap music that I listened to, they were black. How, you know, and people get offended. Well, you know, that's not a, it's called blue-eyed soul. Well, what if this dude's eyes is brown? What do you call it? I mean, you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like a black man singing. In my world, I've only heard black music. That sound like a black man singing, so I hope y'all get that through. So I don't need nobody on here telling me, well, you know, can we get away from saying that he sounds like a black guy and just say he's he just has soul? So let me tell you this. When you hear about soul food, what do you what do you, what do you refer that to? You think, oh, let me know. I haven't even going to get into that. But anyway, because I'm not trying to take this mood down. Hey, um, James Falco, that was off the chain, man. I think you gave me that other guy, too. I cannot think of his name. When I say he had like a Marvin Gaye feel to it, whatever like that. But man, y'all are doing it today. I kind of got a little scared because I'm like the last, the first three songs that I did, okay, they were bringing it. So that was a nice addition to that. James Falco, nice song. Have I heard this now? Now that I hear it, I've heard this song before. I've heard it before. Had no idea that this guy sung it. And when I say I've heard it, that means like I'm, 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 it, it sounds familiar. I cannot sit there and tell you the words to the song. I cannot tell you. All the thing is that did I do anything? Da, 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 da. That's all I've ever heard. Never listened to the song. So if my mom listens to this, I don't know. I will show y'all text of me sending to my mom or sending to my brothers or sending to my black friends saying, listen to this song. And I'm going to say, have you heard? They say, yeah. And I say, did you know that they were white? I get a sign back that says like, what? So that's what I'm saying. In our world, y'all got to understand that it's not like nobody trying to be stereotypical or nothing like that. It's just if a person sounds like people that sung Jazz like music, that's what I'm related to. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and check out James Falco. Falco, major kudos to you for that, James. Loved it. This is Ty Smith, my Renaissance Man. Great check out. I hope you guys all have food, shelter, and clothes. And most of all, I hope and pray that every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all in Jesus' name.